<laughs> How did BTA run? Awful. Absolutely awful. Did you test it off stream to see if it runs? Nope. I've saved it for you guys. And if it runs bad again, you know what? I'll just install Roller Crystal Tycoon. And we'll play that. So how about that, gang? Jason says, for a full comparison, you should load up an urban map. Because those cause some massive issues with the regular maps. I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to do whatever the fuck I want. I'm a cherry picker, apparently. I, so I'm, I'm going to do whatever the, f whatever the fuck I want. I don't have to be fair. I'm going to load up a no, deco a, a, a no decals, no props like desert map, see it run better than Battletech Advanced, and then just start shitting on that other mod. I'll do it. I won't be fair or balanced at all. Camilla says open RCT as a Twitch integration mod. Get the fuck out. Does it really? I was just talking about this yesterday. Does it really? Here, I actually did start the game. It's already in my... Oh, look, it's got my old loads from uh, Bexcom 2. Um, it, it's basically at the start. I haven't had a mission yet. Turn it up. I can't hear it. I can't hear Bexy. Rain Radio TV has done it twice. Oh, we should actually do that. Kirkosh says, is that the one that incentivizes you to build roller coasters to launch patrons over the fence to die in your neighbor's park? What the fuck? <laughs> what? It, what, in like multiplayer? Can you like do that so they get the blame for dead guests? <laughs> that sounds amazing! Can you, like, catch them on the other side? Can you, like, put ponds in place? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Alright. So this is Bexy. Bexy Bexcom. Battletech Extended. Receiving you. Um, I'm here. this one is less crazy than the other one. Skipper. I see in this one you don't start a whole bunch of Ronins and shit, too, which I love Commander. to see. Thank you, Bexy. So in Bexy, we don't have three choices plus an extra capstone per fucking thing. It's just back to like one per box. You know, it's sane, you know? Like, it's it's closer to vanilla. There's like a sane amount of like shit going on. No, it, I'm playing on the simulation plus difficulty of this, which does change up shit a lot. Um, none of our pilots have anything to do right away. I've already picked Bulwark on um, my commander's safety. Safety gin. Um, you guys want to raffle? I can raffle you guys. These are all customizable, so I can raffle you all up right now. I don't know how long we're going to be playing, but you know, this could be your chance to get raffled as a mech pilot and then forever, for the next 10 years, complain and say, The one time I got raffled was for that Battletech campaign. Beagle stopped playing immediately. No, I've never got it. Every, every time someone else wins a raffle in like XCOM, you know, the game that you want to be raffled in, you can just be like, Oh, wasted my one raffle on Battletech. The Beagle abandoned immediately. So you, you can do that, you know. It could happen to you. That could be you. That could be your level of satisfaction. It's open now. Exclamation mark raffle now. I just refreshed it. So make sure you type it now if you want to get in. Uh, meanwhile, look at the mech bay while you get your raffles in. So you get a little bit of time. Um, we all have lights. I took the heavy metal crate and it gave me a Vulcan, which is like barely not a light. It's a 40 ton medium. Um, I think 35 is the upper limit, like the, the heaviest light. So a Vulcan is, like, just above that. Um, aren't these things... These are the things I make do jumpy shit, I believe, with the support weapons. So again, just to be extra clear here, if you were here yesterday and you watched Battletech Advance, this is a completely different mod. This is Battletech Extended. Completely different. Um, there's no infantry. There's no, like, vehicles... What? Well, no vehicles for us. There are for the enemy still. Aishi shows she says, I got raffled as an alien like three years ago now. I got killed and that was my one raffle. What do you mean you got raffled as an alien three years ago? Explain. Wait, 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 what does that mean? I don't really have any gear to start with either. Does it perform better, does it perform better than 90 FPS? We're going to see. Last time I played it, it certainly did. Yeah, combined arms isn't worth the motion sickness. I agree. Okay, we like these jump jets, but we don't like it this much. No, don't do both. Just max the armor out. Oh, you can't. Okay. What? No, don't do both at once. What the? 
Oh, what? It's like a trade-off? What? Oh, you like trade off armor on the places. So to get more armor on the rear, you have to take some off the front. Interesting. That is interesting. Okay, so then we want to go like this, like that. I want to have like 20 on the back here, especially because if we're fighting lights. Like this, like that, like that. You forgot that's how Bexy worked before too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been years since I played Bexy. Up the armor. This is going to be like the bully on the field. Um, I need to lose some weight now. Probably that fucking AC2. Do you have another beam slot? No, you don't. If you take that AC2 off, you have so little... You have so little fucking... But it's so heavy, man. It's like, what? Six tons. Yeah, fuck that. It's so goddamn heavy. Just take it off, I think. Just fuck it. Just, just take it off. Run underweight. Fuck it. We don't want to... Um, what is this thing? Coil L. Heat 70. Excuse, excuse the fuck me? What? Coil L. The contained... Over this is the thing that does more damage the further you run. You, like, scoot your feet on the carpet and get static electricity. Um, the, yeah, I got this in a heavy metal crate. The contained overflow initial... Uh, basically, the more evasion pips you have, the more damage it does. So we probably put the coil on instead and make use of the tonnage that way, too. 70 heat, god. It's it's too much heat, folks. I can't sink that much heat. Also, if if also if it's destroyed, it just blows up like an ammo box. But maybe it does a lot of damage, you know? Like it maybe it's worth it. I don't I don't fucking know. You're probably gonna do a lot of melee with this thing anyway. Fuck it. Let's try it. Put it on. Oh no wait, then I have to take time to put it on. Fuck that. Never mind. Put that back. I changed my mind. Just run underweight, because I, I don't want to wait 17 days to do that, actually. Just run underweight for now. On it. Check the store. The oh yeah, the store. Just take a gun off, armor it up. We just want to armor these bitches up. We're going to run the... Ooh, commando and a fire starter. These are always good, good mechs. Sammy says, there was an enemy mech in a mission I played once that was just like a locust of a mask and a coil, and all it did was sprint off, fire for 300 damage, coil shot, and then blow itself up from the firing. Most terrifying thing I've seen in the Battletech game. Maybe it was an Irby. Oh my god. That does sound horrifying. Okay, the fire starter here is like actually running fire. Which, you know, is just silly. But bless him for trying. Armor up. We need armor. We need that armor. Probably take off flamers too. Yeah, probably just take off the flamers. These are like, what, a ton each? Yeah, just take those two off. And because it doesn't take any time right now, we can get straight into a mission afterwards. Just M lasers, flamers, MG. Beagle, you taking the flamers off a fire starter? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Logged in. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Oh, it's so much quicker. Oh my god, it's so much fucking quicker already. Jesus. Um, SRM ammo. Which we helpfully spread around for fun. And these are SRM4. Again, just armor up. Armor up, kids! Let's go 15, 15, 15, and armor up all around. Probably just gonna end up taking some SRM ammo, I can already tell. Oop, don't do that. Hello, Raiders. Raiders? Oh, Burn Strudels! Thank you for the raid of seven. Welcome, we're just starting some Bexcom. Benemy Bun Bone. Bogo's Binted. What were you playing, Burnt? What's up? Okay, that's a hundred rounds of ammo. You can take that off. Um, but then you might actually need to, like, go a little easier on the armor in places. Just like that, okay. Right. It's a light light. That work order you submitted is complete. And we will build these better when we have travel time. We're just like trying not to take any time right now. We're just busy. Uh, and then it's uh, the precious locust or a 
Hermes. Oh. Oh, that looks like kind of heavy, actually. What's this? That's a 30 tonner. Yeah, that's okay. Hermes. Hermes. Hermes Gaming. M Laser, M Laser, and Flamer. Uh, I'm probably just gonna take that Flamer off and armor up. Flamer, go away. Hello, little Hermes. Um, and I think you're just gonna have to like bring a little bit of it down all over the place. Like I don't think we can have everything here. It's one of those massive engine mechs, so like no time to try anything. Hermes sucks. Oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. But that means it goes fast! We just like cut down the armor more all over the place. Oh, we're gonna cut down the armor a lot. Yeah, really. It doesn't have a lot of tonnage at all, you're right. Let me dead side this a bit more. Alright. Oh. Can you even make some of any weapons? I don't know, that thing really doesn't have any tonnage. Semi ain't lying. And then we also have the Locust and the Wasp, so we may as well take a look at them too. Like, the Locust is probably good to run as well. There's drop costs in this too, so let's get them all ready to fight. Um... Down, 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 front, front. Gotta keep those leggies going. Gotta keep those leggies going. Locust ready. Long. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. And do the Rosp as well. And this is just M Laser and SRM ammo and SRMs in the leggies. What a little baby bug this thing is. What a little baby bug. Goodness me. Let's just go down a little on the armor all around. It's got 20 head armor, we love it. We love it so much. Just try and balance this armor just a little more. Oh my god. That'll have to do, okay. Right. <laughs> Alright, then I think we're ready for contract. So what do we got here? A bunch of different options. Um, what pays really good for the difficulty? Oh, it gives, gives you like the terrain. High gravity, low atmosphere, dawn, dusk. Everything's high grav, low atmosphere. Does gravity affect jump jetting, I wonder? Interesting, it's all Martian biome, so more heat. Um, training day might be a bit much for us. Maybe the one and a half here. High gravity, low atmosphere, no. Pirate convoy. Ambush the convoy. Okay, that could be tough, there's gonna be a lot of tanks in it. What a conflict of Karita. Very old mechs and colors from the conflict long since ended. You are to show these old mech warriors that the war is over for them as well. Okay, I can do that. And then just dollars, I think. We just want dollars. Sorry, Karita, we're coming to fight you for Steiner. Okay, gear up. We want Bully Vulcan. Then Firestarter, then Commando, and then I guess the Locust. Commander and the Vulcan. Um, and then let's go, who's next? Highest Guts, Crackle, you can go on the Firestarter. Highest Piloting. Okay, let's go boom and boom. That's that. Yeah, I know. Oh, what's the drop cost, by the way? Drop cost, 11,000, 820 tons. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty cheap. That's pretty cheap still. You didn't pay anything if it's below uh, 100. Look at that. Cute. All right, go like that. Let's go. Nah, I think I can handle it. <laughs> Darius, I think I got this. Well, right away, the setup is a lot fucking easier. 
a lot quicker. Not gonna fuck around as much, that's nice. Oh man! Don't, don't cram, don't even start. Don't even start with that shit today. Oh man! You got me! Did you raffle? I forgot actually. I'll pull them now. So, one, two, three, four in the lance is gonna be Croker, Subject G, Hyphenated, and Watching Cucumber. Croker, that means you're the commander. Croker, Subject G, Hyphenated Luca, and Watching Cucumber. Croker, Subject G, Hyphenated Luca, and Watching Cucumber. Remember which ones you are. Croker. Command interface initiated. Subject G. Hyphenated Luca is Lasher, and Watching Cucumber is Boomer. Receiving you. If you live, we'll name you after. I remember having to like... Oh my god, it runs so much fucking better. <laughs> oh, it's like a fucking functioning video game again. It's so fucking nice. God fucking bless. Jesus. Knock on wood. Um, imagine a game that runs. It's crazy. Um, I seem to remember having to do my own personal configging to beat, uh, to, uh, Bexcom. Particularly with the pilot ejectioning. I think I remember, like, pilots eject way too much by default. Um, so if that hasn't changed, I probably want to configure that myself again. But we'll just, we'll just see how we go here, so. Hopefully none of my pilots, like, randomly eject. We have an enemy bunch of bullshit going on up here. Put my own music on. Is the music just really quiet, or is it just being ambient right now? It's just being ambient. Where is our scouty? Receiving you. Ready for orders. There's that little locust. Okay. And I've got. How do you tilt the camera again in this? Is there like a button for it? Yeah, hey, it's right click. I have no, like, LM uh, long-range weapons. It's all close. We all have jump jets except the Locust and the Commander doesn't either. Standing by. So the Locust and the Commander can flank right and left, then we can jump jet over the middle, I think, is the way to go. We're just gonna, like... Scout out of the Locust. And then the Commander as well on the other side. You got it! When you see shit just like zoom zoom sprint like that, it's because I'm hitting spacebar to make it go faster, like VOO! It's just like a convenience feature. It's not the game breaking, it's just me deciding to go like, speed shit up. So if you ever see the game like looking like it's on fast forward, it, it literally is, Standing and by. that's why. Holy shit, it runs so much nicer. Contact! Contact something. That is the enemy mech we're talking about? No, that's something else. Watching Cucumber run. says, oh, oh boy, I'm in a locust. I'm gonna die. Feels good, man. I hope you don't die either. What does this do? Radiation field. Heat. Plus and heat for two activations. We don't love that. We'll come along here. Acknowledged. These games feel so much better when you can actually play them, Jesus. I can't even explain it to you. Okay, here we are in contact with the Arcab Legion. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Oh, by the way, the start that I picked for this campaign is 3047, so... It's meant to be, like, clan invasion in a couple years in game time. And, like, new tech is, is available, but still rare. Ready for orders. If music doesn't kick in when we start fighting, I'm gonna have to put my own music on. Okay, so I want to, like, get some spotting going without, like, making myself a sitting duck here. I guess I could just reserve two, actually. The classic reserve cheese. Waiting for the shot. Uh, the commando roll out here. Sprint, sprint. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, what the fuck? That's a fucking medium. Oh! Jesus! An evasion gets stripped here. These lights are not as... Evasive, as in BTA, I can remember that. Okay, that's a Phoenix Hawk. It's 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 not a huge medium. Well, it's a 45 ton, but it hasn't got any weapons on it. These guys are makeshift, so they're not carrying as much armor. 
It's a nighttime mission, so there's two difficulty the weapon accuracy and a 10% move reduction, okay? And high gravity. Jump jet heat generated is increased and ranges are reduced. Death from above. Wait, what? Oh, high gravity, not low gravity. Death from above damage is increased. <laughs> okay. Oh, what was that about Martian biome? Sink only seven percent of normal heat. Well, that PPC boat's fucked. Missile damage is reduced by five percent in the low atmosphere conditions. Ballistic long range is increased by five percent. Okay. What have you got? Improved comms. Signifies a powerful communications suite that can thwart jamming. Removes the sensor growth stack from enemies within range. Okay. That must be this thing. You got large engine. Provides a one bonus to initiative. Provides a one bonus to last initiative until attacked. That music is so quiet. What? Turn it up, music. Come on. Don't be shy. Let, let us hear the music. What mode are we running? BTA extended? Um, Bexy. Extended. Okay, so we've got you there. We've got a locust. And then whatever this thing is, like a spider with PPCs or something heavier. I want to find out, honestly. I definitely want to know what that is. Let's go find out. Because it's already fired. Locust is going to come and scout up and see what we're dealing with here. What?! We're dealing with a fucking what?! <laughs> a fucking what?! You need me to hold still for you? Oh man! We're not fucking around, are we? That is a Warhammer! That's a fucking heavy! That's a 70 ton mech! What? What's a Warhammer doing here? Jesus! <laughs> Maybe Tyrus was right! Take the free heavy, I don't have any salvage. He has got garbage rear armor. We can do this as long as we don't get hit by those fucking PPCs. We, we can do this, but jeez, we need to stay away from that fucking thing. I love Warhammers, by the way. It's such a cool looking mech. I'd love to have a Warhammer. Unfortunately, I won't be able to salvage it, but god, I wish. What a start that'd be. Yeah, it's missing 200 armor. That's fine. It's, it's only got 80 on the front. It's got less armor on the front than my fucking fire starter. Yeah, like, it's just the weapons we're gonna have to watch out for. However, Martian biome, high heat. As long as it doesn't, like, one pop something, if, as long as we live long enough, it should be okay. Yeah, I think Marauders are so cool too, Kingdom, I agree. Um, okay, so we're gonna go for the front then. It's in cover. In a whirlwind. I think we wanna pop the supports first, I think. I think that commander wants to, like, get the fuck out of there. And we wanna, like, go see what's over here. I think if I go down here, the Warhammer might have trouble getting onto me. I'm not sure. Can you jumpy? You can jumpy. I think you should be really fine from the Warhammer. Jump While keeping evasion, let's use those jump jets, that's why we brought them. What is this? A stinger. And we're not gonna have good shots on it there, so that thing's not too scary. So if this is lance on lance, we need to like work together on taking out these little lights while avoiding the warhammer, and then we can kind of like take out the warhammer. The locust and the stinger don't really scare me. The phoenix hook does a little bit more. I'm not gonna take that shot, that's a pointless shot. That's a lot of invasion. I gotta remember that my Vulcan has Bulwark, by the way. I forgot that. My Vulcan needs to tank with Bulwark a little bit. Receiving you. Bulwark and evasion combination. Okay, what do we what do we do now? If I come to here, I haven't got very good shots on anyone. Cause all that evasion. Maybe we start with the Phoenix Hawk. How much armor do you have? Okay, you have as much as the fucking Warhammer, so probably not. We want to start with this stupid Stinger, I think. God, the Warhammer can see me. Ah! Uh, down. Hello, little locust. Enemy locust. Yeah, so this is back in, like, more vanilla, where, like, evasion goes down as you get shot at a lot. There's, like, perks and stuff, I think, to avoid that happening, but... Oh! Oh, the Phoenix Hawk! Oh, God, it's, it's Command. It gets to go before I do. We gotta kill that thing. Armor breach. Internal damage. That commando. Oh god, it's giving everyone plus initiative. Enemy flanking. Okay, we need to kill the stinger, I guess. Jesus! 
I think we gotta wait until the Warhammer is gone. And then just, like, beat the shit out of the Stinger with melee. Would be what I want to do here. You're all pretty defended for the Warhammer's turn, as long as that Commando can get the fuck out of there. Oh, that Commando's in trouble already. Tell me you can get out of there. You can. Thank fuck. And you can show that's... Left side? Yes, thank fuck. That's what we want. We want to show left side. Plus four difficulty to hit unit standing in a radiation field. Probably want to do that. Probably want to, like... Oh, or you could just break loss, or you could just break loss. I think if I get down here, the Warhammer actually can't shoot me. Maybe, maybe. I think it's probably safer to just get the fuck away down here, honestly. Just get in here, plus four difficulty to hit you in the radiation field. You should be safe down here, I think. Double tap. Let's go. Well, Sammy says, once the command gets hit, once it loses the initiative bonus for the rest of the mission. Yeah, I know. Okay, I think you guys... Oh god, the Locust. Not the Locust. <laughs> Not the Locust. The Locust needs to move too. The Locust is in, like, way too much danger there to the Warhammer, I think. I think we need to, like, have the Locust come over and hit stand on the radiation field too. You can actually have it come over here and just, like... Is it targeted by an attack, or does it have to be hit to get rid of that? Until attack. Doesn't say it has to be hit. Just until attack. So then if we come over to here... Aye, aye. Get in the radiation field to make you very evasive and hard to hit for the Warhammer. We don't want that Locust to get hit, because that Warhammer's just going to start popping people. And then we're going to shoot at you. That should get rid of the Lance bonus forever now, apparently. These two are going to hold fast while the Warhammer gets to go, because they're as evasive as they're going to get right now, I think. It's Warhammer time! No, Dad, no! Oh, God! Please! Please don't hit me! Alright, now we need to bully this thing. So a good counter to evasive units is melee. Melee ignores evasion, as do support weapons. So we want to just beat the fuck out of you now. And then we'll get, because of the initiative system, we'll get to go again before the Warhammer gets to go again. So let's just focus all on the front here, I think. Uh, yeah! Nice hit! Good punch. And you get to fire your support weapons in melee. I gotta install that better machine gun noises mod ASAP, man. That was right arm gone, right? So if you punch through the right torso, it's actually going to be pretty good because you'll punch straight through the right torso into the center. So hit from the right side and just focus the, the damage like that. Let's go for it! Work that right side! Damn, you missed! That was a bad time to miss. You're heating the shit out of it at least. So we're going to take this little stinger out while we don't get killed by the Warhammer and then probably the Locust and the Phoenix Organ and the Warhammer. Hopefully that Warhammer is going to start overheating the shit out of itself on this biome. This is a great biome to fight that Warhammer on. Though that's why the Warhammer is only shooting like one weapon at a time here. Like it's smart. This little shit's about to go again. Standing by. M laser, M laser. What we want to do here... Ready for orders is hit it more while maintaining both cover and evasiveness if we can. Hmm. Because we don't want to sit around for the Warhammer to get another turn on us. Like it's time to go go. Does the Vulcan have extended range of support weapons or something? Looks like it. The Vulcan, where's Bulwark? Cover, yeah, you get cover. Well, if you're in cover, it doesn't matter, but if you just make a normal move, 
that isn't a jump, you can get cover from doing that. So I can come to here, hit you in the side, and I'll have cover. Though I can just have cover anyway with evasion. Um, Alright, just give me the fucking evasion, I guess. Okay, just jump to here. Bulwark got changed in this. Nice, nice laser hit, laser hit. Good, good. The Phoenix Hawk is coming! The Master Chief. Gamer Fuel, look out! Locust a little bit low there. Locust gonna be okay, don't worry. It's just an enemy Locust to worry about. Ready for orders. If I go here and I engage both from this position, it makes me really worried that like, what I'm actually gonna have happen is I'm gonna cop. If the PBC misses, I'm gonna cop it anyway on the other mech. So I don't really wanna do that. I wanna like come to here instead and then have more evasion that hopefully keeps me going. Roger. Couple of M lasers into the side. Both missed, unfortunate. Negative damage. This thing would be like, I don't wanna die. Oh, I'm re-engaging the Firestarter, I don't like that! I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all at all. You got any ammo in your ass? No. Dead? Oh, rear. I thought it said left torso, dead. Yep. Yep! Maybe, maybe start harassing... You wanna keep showing your left side though, so no. Hold there for the moment. Standing by. The Locust needs to move before it's Warhammer Chan's turn. I think the Locust just needs to like... Probably go harass in the butt. Just go like, keep everyone like, mad and busy. Plus more difficulty to hit with melee. Okay, that's not what we want. We want... We want to go over here and move and cover, I think. On it. Hopefully if we, like, harass the butts in the sides, we can keep them all distracted. I can brace now to, to guard as well. Or do I go for shots? Two M lasers is like a decent amount of damage I could put into you. Firestone's probably gonna get fucked up here anyway. Maybe just start shooting. Stop pulling his attention. Confirm. Okay, Warhammer, who are you gonna shoot? You got a lot of light targets. <gasps> Yo, those PPCs keep missing. Stay missing. Keep that evasion up. Stay missing. Now should be my turn, right? Oh no, because I fucking fucked around with the commando. Orders? But, I can then use the commando to run in and shoot something, but... The commando doesn't want to do that. The commando hasn't got very good chances to hit. I want to focus all guns on that fucker. Why is my hit so low on you? Because of all your evasion? Can you just keep showing the left side? You know what, just keep showing the left side, just get in there. I got you. Everybody fights, no one quits. Lock it off. All weapons. Got a couple of hits there, take some evasion down as well. Locust is flanking out with the stinger. Time to keep moving. Ooh, that, that, that center torso is really low. I love that. I love how low it's looking. Receiving you. We still have plenty of armor on this thing. Let's take a turn of using it. If I move to here. How much evasion do I have in that move? I should have two, right? Ooh, and I can end in the I can end in the fucking radiation field. Ooh, that's nice. Hello, motherfucker. Engaging 
Okay, we're evasive. <laughs> That's one down for us. Good stuff. They're melee and back in the boat. Oh! Oh Jesus! Warning. Damage. Oh! Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Oh fuck my torso. We're gonna that Phoenix Hawk now. Standing by. Everybody like on that fucking <laughs> just yeah just spam it up now. Everybody on that fucking Phoenix Hawk. We're gonna beat that ass up. Let's get it. Heading out. That's right, conga line. Engage. Please hit, please hit. Yeah, hit a leg, but damn it. That didn't do enough. We need to do more. More, 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 more. Ready for orders. Locus isn't gonna get over there to do much. Confirm. I can the commando can hit you too, but it's it's not what we want. Okay, um. What are we showing? Showing left side. Showing left side. Okay, so showing left side. We can come over to here. I'm there. Here we go. Good, 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 good. It's getting lower. Receiving you. Probably a good time to come back around with Yoldi Locust. Now you can't shoot if you sprint in this mod. But we can start coming around. It's all about what that Warhammer is going to do next, isn't it? It's all about what that Warhammer is going to do next. Maybe just sink your heat down here. If we can get the Phoenix Hawk down soon, it's really good. Without losing one of ours, it's really, really good. I've got too much heat generating here. It's not even the right torso to hit, so... Take the M lasers off. Just panic with the of the MGs here. They're already a bit unsettled, so keep keep the suppression on them. Here comes the Warhammer. Oh. We're holding. Damage minimal. We're holding. That Vulcan's tanking like crazy for a 40 tonner. Damage minimal. That's what we want. Holding on there. But we gotta get behind this fucking thing now. Oh, you have a precision strike. Take a cool shot against a single target at minus four difficulty. The target's next initiative is reduced by one. So is that better or worse? That's better. So this this is the better chance to hit shot special attack. Okay, so what we're gonna do. I think is like evasion up and get back out of there. Kinda hide your left side more. Oh, you, you gotta you gotta watch out for the fucking locust getting you too though. But this is a really good chance to like fuck on this fucker. But if I precision strike you, you can't move for a second. Aha, 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 aha. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so jump backwards. We're gonna cover our ass as well. The precision strike, it lowers our initiative by one. You just wanna hit center torso, right? We just wanna get that shit. Right, right on. You can take off, like, all of the weapons if you take off the right torso, actually. But if you if you hit the center, you just fucking kill it. Probably just go for, like, fucking killing it. Because if we get the initiative down, we can probably do it. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. That mech's getting stressed. We're not doing enough damage to it, though. Standing by. 
But we're working on it. We're working on it. I kind of just want to, like, melee it in the fucking ass again. With the fire starter. Just, like, all fucking guns here. Yep. Yep. I do not want to let that Warhammer get my right side. But if I stay mobile, they shouldn't get to anyway. So if I, like, stay mobile over here, it should be fine. Fuck it. Stay mobile. Affirmative. Expose that weak side to get the shots off. There they go. Mech was getting too fucked up. Too many shots in the rear. They're out. They punched out. Now it's four on two. Ready for orders. Now we want to get the Locust. Locust next. Once the Locust down, we, we it's all four of us on the Warhammer. Receiving you. Standing by. This is this isn't the Vulcans of the Fire Starter. That's fine, right? That's fine. Jump jet behind it and hit it in the butt. Yeah, you can actually. You actually can. Confirm. Jump jet behind. Watch the heat, but fuck it. We're just gonna blow it, blow on this thing. Confirm. Nice. Both the emblazes em em hit. He ain't gonna be happy after that. Both the torsos are nearly gone already. Very nice. Left leg is taking a lot of damage there. So if we come around with El Locosto here. We can keep evasion high. We can't actually get onto the left there. Maybe just go around the rear and like piss off this Warhammer. Just really shit it off. What's the melee punch on this thing? Can, where can you see that? It hasn't got arms. It hasn't got. It, it's, it's got arms actually. It would punch really good. Ready for orders. I just need to be like far enough away. What's its engine? Do we do we get any of that here? I don't think so. I just need to be far enough away that it can't punch me. Receiving you. I don't think it can punch anyone else here. So we'll just we'll just play on the side of caution. We'll go around the right side as we annoy it. Position confirmed. Fuck you. Attacking from position. I need you to be the bait. Dodge the PPCs again, please. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, hitting the Detected fucking head. Ow. Alright. Can we finish this locust now? Standing by. Hit it in the fucking ass. Let's see what we can do. I think you got enough frontal to take whatever that shit bitch throws at you afterwards. Get, get rid of this locust. <laughs> Fuck! No! That's no good. Ah! Oh, it's not shooting me good. Oh, but it's stray shot hit the rear of the fire starter. Anyway. My internals are taking a beating. It's not good. We hate when that happens. Ready for orders. If I get close enough to use my MGs, I'm in danger of being melee by that Warhammer, so we're just gonna come around like this instead. What happened to the mod of this? It was like a roguelike? I have no idea what you're talking about. If you mean rogue tech, it's not actually a roguelike. Orders? That's just their branding. I'm gonna start sprinting around over to here. Affirmative. I think you need to turn like that too over here. Oh, because that little locust is gonna fuck you up actually. Don't do that. Come up to here instead, I guess. Use a regular move so you still get to... Like, we need to torso twist actually. Move right and torso twist. I've changed my mind. I 
I think the fire is gonna fucking cop it this turn. Look at me, you bitch! Look at me! Ooh, not the fire starter. What? Ooh. Is it overheating now, though, I think? Yeah, it's mad overheating. It can't it can't afford on this Martian biome, especially to fire all those weapons right now. Standing by. No way it can afford to do that. I'm gonna fire set around behind and go for some ass shots again. I can't. That looks uh, satisfying. Not good enough though. Scored a critical hit. That locust pilot is no bitch. Still hanging in there. Receiving you. Right. Well, it's time to put more work into the warhammer then, I guess. Roger. On it. Fuck you. Yeah. Crit the engine shielding. Reporting. Critical hit. I actually don't know what that means. Does it do anything? Right hand, high gravity, make shift, engine shielding. Applying 10 heat to a mech after it's activated. Nice! Okay, so because we hit the engine from the rear, it's gonna have even more heat problems now. That's excellent. Confirm. Exactly what we want to see. Perfect. Still able to hold on the right torso here as long as we keep um, keep playing this smart. Keep tankering on that right torso, like right torso, like so. You get it. It's probably gonna turn back around the phases in this direction. So now we can turn the commander back to its good side, the left side. It's remaining good side anyway. And get ready for action from this side. Warhammer again. It's always a lucky shot. Here, it could kill someone. Oh, dodge that PPC. It is getting so hot, it's getting crippled. It's trying to back itself against the wall here. Orders. Haha, <laughs> there's only one left on the fucking rear. Who's got MGs? Standing by. MG, MG. MG, MG, Flamer. Okay. Fire starter, that's on you. Order. It's time to finish this fire starter. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. Confirm. Fire. Locust down. Mech destroyed. And now it's just fucking with this um, Warhammer. Basically, that's all that's left. Order acknowledged. Eat shit. All wet. Go. Unsettled, as you would be. Not quite get what I want from that side. Okay. Ready for orders. Locust can? No, not quite either. Okay, so we're gonna reserve again. Let it go and then see what happens. Reserving action. He's gone. He loves that Vulcan. He wants that fucking Vulcan. Keeps on missing that PPC. We we stay evasive. It's all good. Now it's our time. Now we can hit it in the fucking butt and get out before the start of the next turn because of initiative system. Standing by. It's actually better to just shoot the M lasers though. The locust does no melee damage. But we can like sneak in like this, hit it, and then get out. Moving to get it, locust. Got a heat sink. A critical hit. Stress, that thing's gonna eject soon. Last mech in the lance. Getting really fucked. That thing's gonna eject in a second. I'm gonna sprint you around behind and hit you from behind. Full throttle. 
steal it, man. We're gonna have to salvage to steal it, even if we make it eject, unfortunately. I'm sorry to tell you all. There will be no Warhammer stealing today, but, um... We can try and get a victory out of killing the fucking thing. That's good enough for me. Jump high. Show right side. Jump jets are great for showing... Choosing which side you want to uh, show really deliberately. Flamer, more heat. Panics. That thing's about to get out of here any second. Orders. Any minute this chump is done. Left side's all good, right? Yeah, left side's all good. Overheat, oh shit. Critical hit. Ah. Watch my heat. Okay, it, it's it's a chance to shut down when you're in overheat. That's what it is now. It's not damage. Most of the weapons are gone now. Still a PPC. Just keep hitting in the ass. Ready for orders. Don't give them an inch. Probably just sit right there rather than risking overheat. Because if you jump jet, you're gonna get overheated. Roger. Just really crit again. Take that. You think the Receiving fucker's you. gonna eject soon? Oh, is Locust brave enough to just like MG that? No, you gotta stay away. That's very bad if it fails. M-laser. Got him. Nice job, Locust. Nice job, Lance. That was, uh... That Warhammer was lighted with impunity. Yeah, Locust kills Warhammer base. That's right. The Locust dream. Everything by the number. Easy operation, folks. That was honestly kind of lucky to engage that, that, for that to be the heavy on a Martian biome, so that it had so many heat problems the whole time, too. We had all of the radiation fields and dust storms to constantly abuse for evasion as well. I was really lucky. But I think we played it well. 24 days out for the commander, unfortunately. We definitely dodged some lucky PPCs. Basically, if those PPCs had ever hit, they would have just, like, taken off a limb as soon as they hit anything. They do, like, 50 damage each, like, 45 damage each. Which is, like, all we have on, like, a lot of these mechs. But that went really well. We actually got, like, we got away with that really well. They did great. They did a great job. Definitely give me that Warhammer piece, I think. Break me off a piece of that Warhammer. Yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. That was good. Much more fun. It reminds me what I love about this game, that fight did. That was great. Nice little surprise there, that Warhammer on the one and a half skull. Very interesting. That Phoenix, that Lance Leader Phoenix Hawk was a little scary too. Right, now I gotta name you guys too. So it is... Croker. There you go. And then who did I say? It was... Commander. Ready for orders. Crackle. Ready for orders. Remember, which ones were you guys? I think Crackle was Subject G, right? Yep, that's crap. That's you. Subject G. And I think the next one was hyphenated Luca was Ready to rock. Which one of you was a locust pilot? What are your orders, Skipper? Standing by. You were the locust pilot. So I think Lasher was hyphenated Luca. Luca. 
and Boomer is watching Cucumber. The very, very good Locust pilot who just got a kill on a uh, Warhammer. Do you want it like this? Watch it. It's, it's run out of space watching Cucumber. Do you want it like this or do you want it like this? Underscore or not to fit you in. That works? Okay, we'll do a little one. Hey there. So I never got a chance to explain it really there. Um, and she's out for 24 days now anyway. So that's not as long in Battletech because you can just travel between places. Um, but Bulwark's been changed in this in Simulation Plus difficulty. I actually worked with Harry78, the model author, on how to do this a little bit. And Harry ended up doing this cool thing where before Bulwark's like kind of meta necessary and OP, where like you could stack cover with it to get like 40 to 60% DR. It's different here in Bexcom Simulation Plus difficulty where instead of stacking cover when you're sitting still, old bulwark is if you sit still, you get cover passively at the end of the turn and it stacks when you have a cover you're in. So the meta just became to sit your heavy mechs inside forest and never leave and take no fucking damage. Um, the new way bulwark works, I say new, but this is like years old, but um, the new way bulwark works in this mod of simulation plus difficulty is it does the opposite. When you're moving outside of cover, you gain uh, guarded for free passively, 20% damage reduction. So you can move, attack, and gain the 20% DR for free passively, as long as you're not sprinting or jumping, but it doesn't stack of cover itself. So it's basically, rather than being a sit still and camp and tank ability that's really meta and OP, it's become a thing you take to stay like kind of mobile and aggressive. It lets you push out from cover and like actually use the rest of the map as if you're in cover. So it's, it's very different, still good, but not as OP anymore. Very different role now. And there's more contracts to do here. But, um... I'm gonna need some repairs after that, I think. Are LMs nerfed in this mod pack? I don't know, probably. Yeah, come here, little Sophie. Ooh, good baby. I'm gonna repair these bitches now. It's gonna take a day. Take a day. Take four days. Okay, I think we're gonna wanna, like... I think we're gonna go to, like, travel then. Okay, just start repairing them first, and we're gonna start traveling somewhere then, probably. Did I start a ship upgrade? I hope I did. No, I haven't yet. We need to get more tech points to make our repairs not take so fucking long, so let's start repair scaffolding. Alright, I'll get the team on it right away. And let's check the store. Uh, we got mech pieces. Which isn't really what we're looking to buy right now, but in the future. AC2, AC5. AC2 got a bit buffed in this, so I might have to try it again. I never liked it too much. AC5 though, always, always a good one. Always a reliable little piece. We got an L laser and M lasers. More M lasers always good. PPC, PPC plus, plus the stability damage. Cute, that's cute. Um, arm mod plus, what's this? Just more melee stability damage. This is more melee damage in general, that's nice. It's actually pretty good for the Vulcan I'm building. To get more melee damage. What does the AC number signify? Like, what it can emphasize? Yeah, it's the caliber. AC2 is smaller than AC5. Probably in this case, we'll buy a couple of M lasers. Buy these arm mods. New equipment available. Oh, there was more shit. Shit. Plus one hit defense. Damn, that's really good. Really expensive too, though. Don't think it's worth it for that much. This arm mod, though, I think will be. That's a lot of melee damage. New equipment available. Yeah, we want to turn the Vulcan into a melee boxer. Absolutely. I think that's what they rule out, honestly. I think that's what they're great at. I think I bought the wrong one New of these. Equipment available. We'll leave that and we'll head on. No machine guns, there aren't any here to buy. Okay, with that in mind, what can we do next? Go to the contracts again. Oh, sorry, let's check the hiring hall too. Anybody we really want here? 
I hear ya. Yes, come in. Can't hire you yet, but you've got more work. Good to go. Nice. Standing by. Sandwich. What can I Hard do for rock, you? Sinner, uh, yep. Welk. Don't need any of them. Back to the contracts menu. So glad we got Battletech back on this channel. Yeah, well, I mean, I've done two days of XCOM. I might even just play this tomorrow. Who knows? If it's fun. Sorry, my headphone cable. My, my little baby cat is getting into that mood where it's like, I want to start rubbing on your headset because you're not paying attention to me. Um, this is 19 days of travel. Intercepted evacuation. High gravity. Karita Steiner again. We'd like to prevent any of the data they're from leaving the planet. We need you to intercept their evac convoy and destroy it. Maybe. They, they like, pay for your travel if you do this, I think, right? Like, it's, it's a good thing to do in general. We can give it a go. Ain't nothing else to do around here. Fuck it. Why don't we why don't we start doing that? Let's go. Calculating course now, Commander. So now we're gonna start traveling through the star map. Yeah, come here, my little baby. Come here. We need a name for this merc company. We do. Well, I mean, it's um, it's uh, Croker. So Croker gets to pick the name. Everything being built in engineering, yeah, we've got a we've got a thing coming. That work order you submitted okay, so all work complete. orders are done. Time to get back onto more work orders. So we've got 13 days of travel, and I'd like to refit the Vulcan now. So we just bought those arm mods, right? Plus melee damage. Let's stick these on. You can put multiple on? Oh shit. Oh nice. So that's half a ton for five melee damage. That's not a lot. One ton for twenty. Two tons for 40. I don't know if that's really worth the half a ton. Because if you just do that, the thing's good to go. We can't really throw many more weapons on anyway. I guess you could throw the flamers back on. That's about it. That's five. That's probably more worth it than punch. I don't know. You could just like straight up take this M laser off too. Because if this is going to be a punch mech... Having a flamer maybe is better than an M laser. I don't know. Probably not. I mean, probably eh, probably keep the M laser so you can do stuff. I don't know. We have three of them. They're so heavy. Fuck. They're so fucking heavy. I think they deal damage over time, right? Like it only deals five damage up front, but I think it deals more over time and more heat damage. We'll probably keep the M lasers on for right now. But I'll probably take off of this one extra arm mod there. Oh, actually, no. All you have to do is just take off a weedle bit. Huh? Okay, yeah, just take off like a weedle bit on the legs. How do you do like. Just like a weedle bit of. Fucking armor. Isn't there like a hotkey? There is, but we don't like it. Interesting. It's shift, though, for what it's worth. Shift click. Okay. Plus five melee hit defense. I didn't know you had plus five melee hit defense. Yeah, these things are great for punching. They're built to punch. That's why it's got the plus centimeter support weapon range as well for the MG and flamer. We want to get more MGs in this thing. I don't really want flamers. I want more MGs. I'll just have, like, four machine guns would be great. Ow, Nyx, Jesus Christ. But already, like, that's... You know, we're, we're almost full armored, and we've got, like, a fuckload of... punch damage now, which is awesome. How much damage do we want to punch? We do 115 damage on a punch. That's pretty good. That's, like, a big fucking punch. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. S lasers would be great too, Slink. Absolutely, yeah. And a whole S laser let up would be great too. Yeah, it's a lot of damage, but it really is. These lights, you know, they may not... Let me see. These lights may not be that heavy, but, you know, once we equip them right, they can really do a lot of damage. Like, don't touch that button. You want to go out, don't you? Hang on. Come here. Please go out. Come on.
I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Okay, let's just not do a work order for a day. Let's just get down to the planet and take another mission. Anyway, these lights aren't, you know, obviously they're they're very lightweight. You know, they're not big on tonnage, obviously, that's the whole point. But I know I just John Madden, sorry, because I got distracted. But we're gonna be able to do shit anyway. Whatever. What whatever, fucking whatever. Watching a Super Bowl tomorrow? Probably not. Okay. Um. Now I'm back paying attention again. We gotta move the pilots all up a little bit because Croker is still injured. So Croker can't be here to pilot the Vulcan this time. Um, let's see, Luca. You guys get affinities for piloting the same mech more. So ideally you want to keep you in the same mech more often. But in this case, I think we'll put you in this one. I'm just going to check you in the barracks and see if I can do any level ups on you. Ready. Confirmed. Stand ready, Commander. Not really. Receiving you. you get some plus weapon hit on gunnery. That's about it. Why don't we get that? Training confirmed, Commander. I'm here. Because you get 2% extra to training hit, training so that's good. Complete. Launch contract back again. Alright, and yeah, let's fucking deploy again. This is a Tundra. This is completely the opposite of the last mission in terms of heating. It's one and a half skill again, so we'll see if that means a fucking heavy again. XCOM don't fuck around with the difficulty with the uh, the medium and the heavy in the last lands. That was sick. I don't feel bad about taking a heavy weapons crate to get a 40 ton Vulcan anymore. <laughs> I needed that shit. This will be more tank heavy though. Convo, convo missions are generally quite hard actually early on because uh, they're so tank heavy. So I gotta be careful. I didn't really want to take one, but it was a travel contract, so it seemed like a good thing to take. To get between worlds. <coughs> Excuse me. Need to intercept their evacuation convoy and destroy it. Command interface initiated. Stop convoy from reaching the, this zone. Recon the convoy's route and intercept them. Let's go, lights. Good to go. Ready for orders. Let's go, scout locust. Heading out. So this is completely the opposite to what we just did on the Martian. Our target is within sensor range. This is heat sinking is increased by 50%, so we sink more. 10% movement reduction because it's a bit foggy. One definitely weapon accuracy because it's Dawn Dust. That's like 5% to hit, it's not much. Okay. And we've got Karitan Convoy, Escorts and Convoy. It's kind of scanned over there. Confirmed. To get up to here, they have to take this road up. No, there's two roads actually they can take. Hitting them from the high ground woods up here would obviously be nice. If we can make it up there, I don't think we can climb that. So you sprinters, just come along here. I'm the jump jetters, of course, won't have any issue. Confirmed. Roger that. They're gonna be fun. Yeah. Hey, you're a favorite. Thank you for the five gifts of the community. I should have raffled a hound too. Who's hound? Let's let's draw a raffle. Exclamation mark raffle. Get your raffles in. Let's see who hound is on the team. Now that we've got everyone else's names properly put in. Exclamation mark, it could be you! 
Gonna scout up with a locust again. Contacts, lots of contacts. Here we go, we got a scout locust in front. We don't know what behind. Oh, they are ramshackle as fuck. They're shoddy, they've only got half armor. That should be a slaughter if the tanks are like that too. Let's find out who Hound is. Hound is... Everything by the <laughs> Hound is Astral Corgi. Astral Corgi, you are Hound. What's up, boss? Congratulations. Ready for orders. Move into position. Here we go. Jump jet up the cliff. Oh, the fire setter was the other one. Whoops, that's the other one who should be jump jetting. Whatever. I got you. We're moving into tundra and forest to get eyes on him. Combat begins now. Second dire on something I'm facing. I think in in Bexy, like it's faithfully like they're all like different units and and squadrons and stuff, which is cool. Like it's not just Karita. Like Harry actually did like their specific squadron from them. You know what I mean? Which is pretty awesome. And a reserve down. Confirmed. Waiting for the right play. Then keep sprinting and keep scouting. On it. What have we got here? Hopefully nothing too heavy. Second like Deerson regulars is what they are. That Logos is fully maxed. Smart AI! Oh I shit, sensor lock. Shit. I forgot about sensor lock. Ooh, bitch. Fuck. That Locus is in so much trouble. That might that Locus might even die. That Locus is definitely gonna lose some some pieces. Drillson here with L lasers and LRM-10. LRM-10 on the Saracen. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Receiving you. The only thing to do is to get right in there, I think. And just start saying, hey, 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 fucking look at me. Got it. Don't shoot the locust, look at me. I'll shoot your locust. These things should be lightly armored at least, right? Oh, no, and they're not shoddy either. Tanks. Tanks are so scary early on. They're such a fuck. Fire. Especially when you miss everything. Primary target is damage, Commander. Keep oh, I'm gonna get mauled by this mission, I can tell. Oh, look at that one, just fucking go. Oh I god, the I'm so lucky that didn't hit me in the ass, that L laser. Fucking hovercrafts are so that quick. Was a bad hit. What the fuck? Hovercrafts are so quick. Uh, yep. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ah! I'm gonna get destroyed. Please, Saracen, no! I'm being flanked. Please don't die, Locust. Ah! Critical hit. Bad one, I think. Oh god, five. Can I tell you to eject when it's not your turn? No, I Bye. can't. Ah! There's never hovercraft. That Locust is just fucking dead. You live. You live for now, Locust. But you're in a lot of fucking trouble. Hit that left side hard. We need to take this shit out. Let's go. Fucking hovercrafts. Go on. Target damage. Concentrate your fire. With tanks, you only have to hit like one section of them, I believe. Oh good, it's not a fucking hovercraft. It's like a normal craft. Oh, I have so much sensor. Oh, gang! Okay, we're only low in the ass. As long as they don't get behind us again. Losing armor. You're probably gonna live. Ooh, multi-shotting. Oh god, big multi-shotting. I'm glad that LRM carried and just killed the locust. Get an evasion out all over the place though. What's this? Griffin! Griffin! Jesus! <gasps> Internal structure damage. How are you living? What is that? No! How the fuck are you alive? I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. 
How did you take all of the hits in non-critical areas? How did you do that? How did you wear one to your arm, one to your right torso, and one to your leg, and have five left on your rear CT? How did you do that? Run! Fucking run! Oh my god, you can't even run, you can't even sprint. I might just have to eject you. I might actually just have to eject you. I think. Standing by. You, you're fucked. There, there, there's no shot. You're. I don't think sensor cooldown even has a uh, sensor lock. Even has a cooldown, does it? Because you're unstable. Because the, you got hit so hard, you're unstable. You're like so fucked. I could run you away, but the problem is, this Saracen probably just kills me then. I'm here. Because it just gets to rear me again. I think I just need to eject you. I think I actually just need to eject watching Cucumber. And like, I'll have to repair the head later on a Locust, but I won't lose the pilot or a Locust at least. I don't think I have any other fucking choice here. You've got to eject. You're so fucked. Stomp it? No, I'm not brave enough. I think you're gonna do it. Get out of there. Ejecting. Definitely eject out of that. That's crazy. You're lucky to be alive, man. Damn, that locust is lucky to be recoverable after this if we don't lose the mission. Which, speaking of, that's an LRM carrier. So if you thought we were having fun last time, this this is why you shouldn't do convoy missions early. It's my own fault. I greeted for the travel contract. It's my own fault, though. It's my own fault. I knew this could happen. Orders. It's my fault. Now, tanks take extra damage from step attacks. Orders. So that's something we can try to do here. We can try and steppy. Ready. What's the, what's the chances of a DFA landing here? 54% to hit. Not very good. Okay. Yep. We're just gonna have to like hit you like this instead, I guess. But boy, does the boy is this fucked. God, this is fucked. Copy that. Die. All wet. It's not gonna die. It doesn't give a fuck. Commander? Does not give a single fuck. I think hovercrafts can't go through trees. I might actually be able to block up its movement here. Maybe. Because it ain't dead yet. Oh god, it's a panther. That's why the PPCs. Ow. Damage minimal. I want to break free! Right at the core torso. Right at the center torso, I mean. Right, get over here, motherfucker. Engaging jump jet. Targeting for an alpha strike. Blow that bitch up. Please. Oh god. You did not blow that bitch up. Oh god! Ah! Okay, we're okay. We're still alive. Damn it. Damn it. A little Damn bit. It. Huh. Armor blow through. They got Total some damage. Heavy fucking max. They've got yeah, a sensor lock on. Sensor lock. Everything's got fucking sensor lock. Please don't let it. Is that it? My internals are taking a beating. <laughs> Is that it? That's it. Oh my god. Leg's getting fuckied. This fucking thing's getting away too. We can't let it get away. Fucking fast as fuck, boy. Confirmed. 
orders? Which side is good? Left side is good? Left side is good. Left side is fine. What about rear? Rear is like the one side I don't want to hit it from, goddammit. Punch it? No, we're not going to punch it on this one yet. Not yet. It's Locust, Locust, Panther. Yep. I'm there. Here we go. Might hit other sections. Locust coming. Bitch, leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Waiting for orders. Standing by. Affirmative. Keep falling back, goddamn. This is so fucked up. Kill it, please kill it, please kill it. Oh my god, it's not dead. Oh my god, it's not fucking dead. Please kill that fucking hovercraft. <laughs> hovercraft! Lock on me. Orders? It's so close, come on! Show your right side, Confirm. and finish that hovercraft off. Yeah! Vehicle killed. Oh god. I don't want to watch the LRMs hit me again, please. Oi! PPCs. So much artillery coming in from those other fucking Macs, too. Oh my god, the PPC misses are beautiful. Armor holding. It's what we need for breakfast. Ah, oh, the L laser miss. Thank you. We need to get mobile. We need to get mobile. Damage is minor, Commander. The LRM is beginning again. Ow, 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 ow. Improve the confidence. Yeah, feeling it. Hyphenated Luca is feeling it. Okay, what's next? We have two more vehicles still. One of them is the Bulldog, the other is the LRM carrier. Goes about saying, blowing up that fucking LRM carrier would be beautiful. We're taking heavy goddamn fire from those PPCs. PPC has bad min range, right? Like, if we get in amongst them, it'll be better. I'm here. Can I get, like, a punch? I can't. I can if I reserve. If I reserve, I can get punching on some of them. Off of min range. I want to punch the Bulldog with the Vulcan, I think. Or did it already move this turn? No, it goes on two. So if the Vulcan can keep holding for a second with that evasion, that'd be good. Confirmed. Some of us just gotta fucking dodge, I think. Left torso. We're just gonna get you out of there for a second, Commando. Locust says hello. I could even just break loss this turn. And then punch the Bulldog next turn. But the LRMs are still gonna hit me as the problem, that's annoying. Yes, Commander. If I stay evasive, the LRMs shouldn't hurt too badly. Good to go. Your good side right now is the right, so we can Proceed. sprint you right, basically. Or jump at you, I guess. Like, we can jump at you right and then, like, brace. I can double stack. I can double stack D heat here, too. I can, like, kind of defend. Like, go like this. And then double stack defense. Bitch! But I'm but I'm I'm 40% DR because I've 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 done a guard action inside a forest. So that probably lets the Vulcan chill and let this thing come in closer and stomp it. Reserve. Roger. Waiting for the shot. Yeah, they're just gonna make me go. No, they're not. Idiots. Idiots. Ha ha ha! Good. Oh, it hurts. I'm under heavy fire. 
Oh, the PPCs, they hurt. Oh, fuck it again. I'm screaming. Armor blow through. Internal damage. I'm screaming out here. It's so scary. Commander. We're going to make it worth it. We're going to beat the ever-loving shit out of this fucking tank now. Just step on it. It should just die. Destroyed. Tanks take double melee. So with my arm mods, that's 230 melee damage. Move her down. But yeah, I'm gonna lose my arm mods. Yeah, is the problem. Ah! I'm alive. A little bit. I'm a little bit alive. That arm is coming off. That's the good arm too. Fuck. You need to hide. Good job. Now go fucking hide. Jesus. Just what? Once we get into the LRM carrier, it's about dodging goddamn PPCs again. Orders. You've got to run. Standing by. Run, bitch, run. Show left side. Roger. Once you're into the LRM carrier, you can leave. True, true, I can fucking evac once the LRM carrier is dead. True, destroying the escorts is a side objective. You're right. If I blow it up, that's all I have to do. That's a really good point. That's a actually really good point. Thank you. Bring it in, because you're gonna take. Well, you're, you're double stacked right now, so let him let him tank you there, because. Oh god. Um, you're evasive. Until they sensor lock you, you should be okay. Maybe you reserve down here a little bit. Let's see what they do. Okay, my turn. My turn. Orders. I wonder if this is free withdrawal, if it's like mission control, we have to get out to the evac zone. Yes, Commander. Okay, we're going in. Awesome. LRM carrier doesn't have a lot of armor. Maybe pop a vigilance here. So that you can tank for free. Gain guard and entrench real stability damage, yep. Your next initiative is increased by one. Probably do that, yep. Vigilance. And start hitting this little piece of shit. Fucking thing, look at it. Look at that little fucking thing. We blow this thing up, we're good. We're done. Confirmed. That right leg, you don't want to expose that right leg if you can help it. But if you wait long enough, no you can't wait, you gotta go now. You don't have to expose that leg, you can come to here, but then you get pumped by PPCs, so you kinda of just gotta keep moving I think actually. You, you can't really do anything else there, you just gotta move up here I think. Affirmative. Keep evasive. Stay in cover. Stay moving. Stay quick. Stay fast. Oh, a little bit of tanking on that PPC. Reporting minimal damage. That PPC. Good to go. Now, until I activate you, you still have your tanking ability. But... Hmm... I don't want the LRM carry to really go again, let's see. Let him go. Ah! Reporting. Major armor loss. Ah! Orders. Okay. 
Ready for orders. Fire Soda has enough armor to tank BBCs. Go for it, coward. Hang on. That's not gonna do enough. Do we have enough armor to tank PPCs? Uh, like, maybe? <laughs> Ready. Not really, we don't. It's better if we use the double tank first. LM Curry goes on one, we can wait until they've gone. Standing by. But I think the Vulcan needs to, like, do, like, one of these ones and keep evading. Fuck you. Live life, fuck you. We're next to go. Okay, we'll go down. I don't want to give the LRM carrier a turn. Where's your MGMO? Of course it's in the core. That's where any good pilot puts it. I can show right, it just means like maybe getting my leg blown off, but if I'm if I'm willing to accept that risk. I can actually blow this locust up in the ass right now. Well, kinda not really. Commander. You don't want to let that locust get you in the ass, that's really bad. Just gotta get that stupid fucking LRM carrier, that's it. Hmm. Just a panther and... At that range, the PPC actually shouldn't be able to hit me very well at all. Fuck it. Fuck it, it's time to go in! Get that LRM carrier! Complete the mission! Get him, Corgi! Yeah! Good, the mission is complete. Wait, if we evac, we keep the Locust, right? I'm sure we do. It's just a... Ah! Oh! PPC hit to the fucking arm. Armor breach. Internal damage. Where's the fucking evac? There it is. Orders? Ooh, that's seven health left torso. It's time to get the fuck out of here. It's time to get the fuck out of there now. Double time. Let's go. Evac! I do not want to try and fight the rest of these. <gasps> DFA? No. Revenge on the fire starter is what's happening. Hey up. Commando needs to show right side and keep getting out of there. Confirmed. Right, if you don't sense her a lot, they can't even see her here, so. Here, just come to here and show your right side, like, right there. Copy that. Didn't really alarm that anything lost now, true, also true. Gonna get that fire setter out of there next. Probably good, it's just a locust going next, and then we're just gonna jump get our way out of here. Are we in bops? No, we're completing the mission. Order. Oh, LRM, shit. Look, LRM, shit. Show your left side. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Acknowledge. Straight the evac. Commander. Show your left side too. Yep, show your left side. Straight to evac. Fucking let's bounce. Jumping. This is modded vanilla. This is uh, Bexcom. Modded Battletech Extended Commander's Edition. Oh, the sensor locking! Get rid of my evasion pips. 
Oh, God. That shot went internal. Oh, God, my core. Oh, God, don't get hit in the core again. Okay, that was really bad. Oh, my God, what the fuck? One HP? Waiting for order. What is happening? Get me the fuck! Get me the fuck out of here! Please! Please get me the fuck out of here! Go. What the fuck is going on? Oh, if I live through this, I'll never ask for another fucking thing again. Please. Help me. Help me! Oh, you're not gonna- you, you're not gonna make it, man. You're just not gonna make it. Oh, you're not gonna fucking make it. Cop. You gotta try, man. You gotta try to get that fire starter out of there. Oh, my arm mod, bitch! Reporting. Critical hit! You bitch! I just bought that for 200,000 credits! You little fucker! Bitch, 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 fuck! Jump to here and defend its ass. Let's get the fuck out of here! Affirmative. Oh god, just please don't hit me in the... Need vigilance. Oh, it stacks with guard, doesn't it? Does vigilance stack with guard? Oopsie. Waiting for the right play. Mm -hmm. One health fire starter. Light damage, Commander. Why do you- My arm mods, why do you keep hitting me? Damage critical. Oh fuck, I didn't- And now the command yep. doesn't go, fuck. Now they get to shoot me again! Oh shit, no, the locust gets to shoot me! Confirm. Show your right side and precision strike on the locust so it can't get us. Turn its initiative down by one. Firing. You didn't get to punish anything. We punched some tanks. Oh, he still gets to go? What the fuck? Ugh. Oh my god. Am I am I dead? <sighs> Receiving you. Oh, we can't quite make it this time. No, wait, wait. Falcon, tell me you can make that jump. Oh, fuck you, Vulcan! You fucking dick! Orders? Yep. I don't know if that's in or out. We're gonna find out. We're gonna keep holding on the left side. Jump. As they say in Homeworld, jump. Roger. <laughs> My arm. I lost a weapon. My arm. All my arm mods are gone already. Fuck. I'm here. Come on, you can do it. Is that in or out? Let's find out. Is that in or out? Uh, which side do you want to show now? I guess we're gonna turn to the right side now and lose all that shit.
Rusal's armor. Yeah, but then you don't get cover. Fuck that. And you're too easy to hit. Showing rear not the play here, I don't think. Confirmed. Is that in? It's not in. You fucker. Confirmed. You fucking game. I hate this fucking game. This game is bullshit. Oh, I have no choice. I have to just like... Oi! Commando Chan, look out. Getting fucked with its silky smooth this time. Yeah, I mean, the frame rate's great at least. So that's really cool. The frame rate feels great. I love that, that's good stuff. Fuck it. Just come here and brace. What else are you gonna do? Fuck it. Just gonna do it. Please just don't get side on me. Uh Stay alive. Yes! Standing by. Get oot! Get oot! On my way. Evac now! Oh my god. Mission successful. Well, I lost all my arm mods, but nobody died. I didn't lose any mechs, unless you don't get the locust back for evacing, so we'll see. Ooting! Ooting! Get me out of there! So we didn't get the side objective of destroying the convoy guards. The payout, like, kinda pays for the arm mods I lost. At least we got rapid experience, right? We get to keep the locust, it seems, so that we have to fix the head, because the head gets destroyed when you evac out. Losing the armors on the Vulcan sucks. But, I mean, that could have been a lot worse than coming out, like, kind of neutral for money, you know? That could have gone much worse. So I'm not too pissed about that. I'm pr pretty, pretty fine about that. LRM20 is interesting. So you're saying we got paid of exposure, yeah. That, that, that went bad from the start, just as soon as hovercrafts existed. I had to be more careful with those fucking hovercrafts. You think I should get an LLAS or an LRM20? I feel like LRM20 is the better pickup. I think that's the good shit. Have an LRM10 as well. Oh, I got three MGs, that's great. I can put that on the Vulcan. I didn't realize there was a three pack there, it got stacked together, that's like a mod, awesome. Yeah, there's ammo for it in the stores, CHEV, it should be. Hey, everybody's alive, we kept all our mechs, even though it's gonna take a lot of repairs. That was good. These missions are tough, I love it. The, the difficulty feels really good on this. And it's buttery smooth, so like, it's fun to play. This is great, I wanna play more of this tomorrow. Yeah, we need to do some mech repairs, we absolutely do. Croker is out of action for five more days, but surprisingly none of the pilots got injured out of that, which is amazing, honestly. We've got a bunch of jobs to do here, so we'll probably stick around. Operation Fly Sweater, what's up? Probably stick around to do at least show the flag. This is Caritans, wait, this is against who? Pirate, okay, against pirates, that's fine. We can we can help Caritans against pirates for one skull. Not today, that'll be tomorrow though. Festive couple. A duo duel against Steiner. No fucking thank you. I gotta do these one skulls, man. One and a half skull, it's dangerous. At least, especially with tanks it is. Go to the mech bay then. Oh, Vulcan's gonna be out for a while. Doesn't... Oh, there's arm mods though. Why do we? Why do they have to take my arm mods? Why, Jim? Why? Get that flamer back. MG. MG. Get more support weapons at least. 
We'll have to buy more arm mods, I guess. What's in the store? Oh, is this like a Kareem planet? There's like nothing here for us. They fucking hate us. <laughs> Alright, well we're back to being underweight again, unfortunately. My arm mods, I'm so sad! Max the armor out then. Log and note. Shouldn't be too hard. Prepare these shits up. I mean, I've got before the Valkyrie ever go again, like. Maybe just travel again, honestly. <laughs> the others will be done quick, but. I put the Vulcan on the bottom. The others will be done in like still seven takes. Maybe we just fucking go somewhere else again. <laughs> God damn. This this was kind of a bust for our finances. This one. Go somewhere to sell us things. Yeah, we need we need to fucking get sold things. Store. Yeah, they want so many shit here. Okay, go to the navigation. Hello, Commander. Hello. Chaco may not be fully functional yet, but she's spaceworthy enough for our purposes. Come stars, bread announced, blah 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 blah. If you're not the commander or a member of the engineering team, stay out until the end. You can play. So we are currently here. Where the fuck did we start? Free Rasselhag Republic. I thought I picked the start with, um, Magistry. Well, I guess it doesn't matter where the fuck you start then. Jump distance in system four days. Huh? Jump distance in system one days. That's, that's from getting out again to the planet, I guess. 22 days. God. Let's get out of the fucking Draconis area. What does that mean? What is that? Oh, visited. It means I've been there. Okay. I guess we'll go back to Steiner. I guess we'll just hop back over the border to Steiner, yeah. 27 days to get to there. Fuck me. 18 days. 31, 32, 27, 28, 24, 23, 23. This is like three skulls difficulty there, we don't really want that. That's a bit low. Is there like a one skull? That's too far. Half a skull, two skull. Just wanna like somewhere that's like around one skull difficulty but won't take as long to get to. This is alright. 19 days to travel there and it's one and a half skulls, we'll travel there. And it's like perfectly low repair time too, I think. Can you get piranha levels of machine guns? Yeah, I mean, I'd Those get a piranha. You asked for are online, Commander. Nice, that'll help a lot too. So now our repairs go down from 19 days to 11 days because we just got our engineering bay properly online. That's really good. Creation. Okay, we want to build up our power conduits next. Roger that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. There's Omni's clans are in this. Yeah, there's clans in this. In this mod, they'll be here in a couple of years. Thirty forty nine is when the clan invasion starts. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. Uh huh. Okay, probably just stay on normal budgeting, I think. Which one is this? This is Battletech uh, Extended. We're actually going to be able to do some refitting on the way now, which is nice. So maybe I'll leave that for tomorrow, I think. Hey, boss. Oh, that's Sun Seed. Beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. So now we can... Oh, that costs way too much. It costs a million. I can't buy that yet for mech base 2. I can buy repair bay and tech points for simultaneous repairs and faster repairs and refits. 
Let's have this refit harness for 267. It's a bit cheaper. I have a lot of money right now. But I think I can get away with doing this one. Maybe. Might be a bit expensive. I'll just make some money when I get there. It's fine. We won't go bankrupt. Just get this one. It's fine. Alright, I'll get the team on it right away. And then repairs to do tomorrow. Alright, I'm gonna leave it there for now, I think. I think we're gonna play more of this tomorrow, gang. I'm liking this. This is fun. Dexcom Croker Save 1. We'll be back for this tomorrow. The panic chances on the ejects feel alright so far, too, but they have one eject. One eject either way. Dexcom is good. This is the good mod. It always was. I was greedily distracted by the promise of infantry and tanks and VTOLs, but you know what? Fuck all that shit. Dexcom is the good mod. It always was. We knew it. It always has been. I really gotta go to the bathroom, so I gotta not do a big, like, tail end here on my, uh, wrapping it up. So let me just wrap it up quickly. Let me thank my subs and dubs quick. Um, USS Defiant, 60, 48 months sub. Thanks for your four years in a row of subbing. MJB A, 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 A. Thank you very much for that. Got like a Phantom Brigade? I might. I've looked at it before, Mongo. I'll probably look at it again. Give it a better shake. I didn't like it the first time I played it. Symmetry, thank you for the 40 month sub. I'm emailing Nora. Did they ever get back to you? Bamboo Cutter. Um, 342G, 25 month sub. Screw Juice, 31 month sub. Must Muscular, 32 month sub. Zabrimley, 69 month sub in a row. Nice. Thank you very much for that, Zabrimley. Nutara, 60 month sub. Brian the Relentless, subscribe. Welcome, Brian the Relentless. For your subscription. Bryn, Brian. Cornite, 51 month sub. Wong to Og, 39 month sub. Sand Elemental, 51 month sub. Burnt Strudels, thanks for the raid of a party of seven. Thank you very much. Chestmaster, 91, 42 month sub. Battle Dragon, 6 month sub. Uh, mildly Impolite, 73 month sub yourself. I got clapped by an MRM carrier. Yeah, that sounds horrible. And you're a favor, gifted five subs. The Pwn Swag, Shenanigans, Crowbolt, Love Raptor, and Nyx Kitty. Thank you, you're a favor, for the five gift subs, especially the Nyx Kitty. Thank you very much. Appreciate it a lot. I hope you guys enjoy Battletech Extended, because we're going to play more of it tomorrow, and we're going to try to get uh, sneak our teeth into it a bit. Um, right now, we're going to raid... Um, over Easy Eggs is doing Overwatch 2. I had to go to the bathroom right away. Thanks everyone coming. See you tomorrow for more Battletech Extended. We're going to sink more of our teeth into this mod. Um... And I will catch you all later, I guess. I gotta go to the bathroom right now, so... Bye-bye, everyone. See you tomorrow for more Battletech. Have a good one. Bye-bye.